if we think about this balance between making things uh, between making things structured but also making them open and inclusive, what it really comes down to is how well are the data sets organized, taxonomized, and how do we really know what's inside of them? If you think about this, I hate to oversimplify, but if you think about the principles involved in just managing files on your own computer, you know, think about it. If you have a if you have an organized system of folders, a good hierarchy of folders, you're using good, uh, you're using good readable names for your folder structure and for your files and you're being consistent about it, that's going to enable you to get through your files and to find the file you want much more easily than if you're just kind of throwing everything willy-nilly into one big folder and things are named in an inconsistent manner and not always so descriptively. So again, at the risk of oversimplifying, that's the, that's the kind of thing we have to be wary of in a data lake. You want to catalog your data. You want to curate your data. And you want to have a good sense of what's where. Uh, another cliche that might be instructive here is a place for everything and everything in its place. So the limitations with data lakes are that it's kind of up to the customer and the user to impose that discipline on themselves. We're seeing the emergence of tools that can help make shorter work of that discipline, but uh, it really, but the motivation for it uh, really needs to come from the customer. And that's a, that's a tricky thing.